What's going on all you minties? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition and join me for this overview of the Middle West hardcover edition from Image Comics. So let's get started. Welcome back everybody. So I'm going to be doing an overview of the Middle West hardcover edition. It's a book that's been out for about a week now or so and I finally got it in the mail a couple of days ago. And I wanted to do an overview as soon as I got it, but I decided, you know what, I really enjoyed the story and I want to reread it. And that's exactly what happened. I read all 18 issues. So that's right, all 18 issues are collected in this hardcover format. So if you're interested in the dimensions of the hardcover, it's as tall as a Marvel omnibus. And I just got this in the mail. This is the new printing of the Captain America omnibus. But to kind of give you an idea of the height of this particular hardcover format. So flat spines if that does bother you though like most of the hardcover editions no dust jacket and the image in the front is a new image from jorge corona so i've seen it advertised with the image to the third trade paperback but instead we are getting this particular image so let's go ahead and get this open and talk a little bit about it so here we have middle west this is the hardcover edition, originally released in 18 issues or three trade paperbacks. I voted this as one of my most favorite hidden gems a couple of years ago. Just look at this opening shots. Like This is the selling point here. I mean, I love Scotty Young. He's the writer on the book. And of course, he is uh, known for drawing a lot of the baby covers, but he is so much more than that. He's been writing comics as well. He did the Magneto miniseries. Uh, he also did the Deadpool book, but this is the one that I thought, well, that's not fair. He's not only a good artist, but damn, he's a good writer. But Jorge Corona is the artist on this book, and just look at this opening shot here. That leads into this. That is some grade A quality storytelling right there i'm a huge fan of this particular book and if i'm sure one day whenever i have to redo my top 10 favorite image books of all time this might make it on there um I'm, it's no secret i've like i said i've done the hidden gem i've done a review of the very first trade paperback absolutely love it and told people not to sleep on it so when this came out this was one of my most wanted collected editions that was coming out in 2021 and it is finally here so really quick without going too deep into the story this is the story of abel this young man right here who lives somewhere here in the middle west so the middle west is a very mundane place nothing important happens but is it really or is it a little more magical than what we're led to believe because immediately we meet fox and he's a talking fox but is abel the only one that can hear him so the mystery deepens, but this is so much more than that. This is such a fantastical world that this takes place in. The story, like I said, is about Abel, who has a horrible relationship with his father. There's uh, there's abuse in there. So just a fair warning, if you can't put up with anything like that, like child abuse, then by all means, maybe, you know, avoid this book. But it's it's a, it's, it's a sad part of life. It happens sometimes in people's lives. And I think Scotty Young handles it damn well the way that this is written so this does have fantasy elements thrown in here as well as so much real crap that happens in the world but that's really all i will say because the least i say about it the better off you are just starting to read this my main job here is to turn the page and to make you fall in love with this particular artwork it is very cartoony it is very reminiscent of scotty young but i really think that jorge corona has something special here I think at times he surpasses what Scotty Young has done in the past. Now, of course, this is the sketchy art style that Scotty Young had uh, when I remember him drawing things like New X-Men or the uh, things like that when he developed that art style after coming from cartoony to sketchy art style that we're used to seeing. Um, but I don't know. It just it really fits this particular tone of the story. So this is mainly about the relationship between father and son. His father is a brutal hard ass. And there's some heated exchange. And Abel quickly gathers his things and goes on a journey with his magical fox companion. And that's what we're thrown in. It's got elements of things like the Wizard of Oz, of course. Which 
coincidentally enough, is something that Scotty Young worked on. Um, but let's look at some of the extras and then we'll talk about the build of this particular book. I think I've showcased enough of the artwork in here for you to kind of get a feeling of what you're in store for with this particular book. And let's look in the back here. So in the back, what we start off with are the variant covers. Making sure none of these have spoilers on them. I uh, do love that little girl. Okay. I had to skip a couple because they definitely had spoilers on them. Still looking at some second printings of issue number one. So these don't really have a lot of spoilers, if any. And who is this wind that calls out Abel's name? See, I love jumping into books like that with mystery that I don't know what to expect or what to think, what is real and what isn't. There is a conversation here with Scotty Young, a long conversation here with Scotty Young and Jorge Corona, talking about this particular story and what it means to them. And we have some of the script with the artwork in here. I love when they add that. I love when they add things like that for anybody that wants to write or draw comics. You can practice by drawing the script out or you can practice by writing a script. I love that they add things like that these days. Had to skip some of the sketches there, but here's some, of course, digitally. They've taken pictures of the sketch. This of the concept artwork for the original characters and concept sketches there. Had to skip a couple, but here's some more. And then the progress and then the art progress here for that cover. And I think one of the sweetest things here is I didn't realize that Scotty Young had dedicated this to his dad and his sons. Thought that was beautiful, especially when you read this story. Here's Jorge Corona, dedication, Jean Francis Ballou, who I didn't even talk about. Um, I mean, part of the reason why I fell in love with the series are these vibrant, beautiful colors. They are amazing, to say the least. They make it feel so real. They make the art come alive. Uh, the book, by the way, has 560 pages and retails for $59.99. And as I mentioned, is a hardcover, no dust jacket. As far as the eye, here we go. Kind of give you a better idea of what that eye looks like. It is sewn binding. And there's your eye. It's got this thick, glossy paper. It's kind of what you expect out of some of the image books, image hardcovers. The binding is not, it's not tight. It's not like uh, the glued binding that was in Monstrous, for example, the hardcover. Um, but it does take some, I've, I've, I've read it once and you can still see, kind of has a little bit of a hard time staying open. And let's go to the back so you can see for yourself. But I think it overall it does a really good job. So that, as they say, is that. And that was the content, the page count, and the build of this hardcover edition. Let me know in the comments down below if you have the trades, if you've read the single issues, what you thought of this story. If you're going into this story completely blind, it's one of my favorite stories of 2019. I think it was 2019. It's one of my hidden gems for sure. And I love this story. The visuals are so beautiful and perfect. And yeah, it's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty Young can write a comic as well as draw them. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any more questions, leave them down below. If you want to partake in supporting the channel, please don't forget to check out our Patreon and our Spread Shop. Both links are in the description of the video. And very much appreciate that. As well as a big thank you to all our existing patrons. Couldn't make videos like this possible without you all. More importantly, everyone, please stay healthy, stay safe, and much love. <laughs>